everybody this is going to be a quick tutorial on serving react and react app without ejecting using flask the first step is to navigate to this github repo that I created with a template um, and then to whatever directory you want this to appear in so for my instance I have this YouTube directory that I use then I'm gonna get clone the repo Awesome. And then I'm going to open it with this. So projects, YouTube. There we go. Awesome. And you see we have our React application, or sorry, our Flask application, and then our React application up here that's just going to display hello world on being served from Flask. So let's open up the command line. There are a couple of things we need to do. We need to CD into the the React library, which is this Flask tutorial here. And this was done during Create React using Create React app. Then npm install. This should take a second. And while this is happening, I'll just kind of explain how this works. So um, if you have a Create React app, you could do this. You could change a different one. You can change the name to it here. And essentially what we're doing is we're serving the index.html that is built during for the production build for Create React app. And we're, we're allowing all of the React files, the JavaScript files, the CSS files, the um, uh, other media files to be served here. And what that allows it to do is just it renders normally, as if you're doing the npm start. So then we're going to do npm run build. This shouldn't take too long because it's not that big of a deal, but this is what I do personally whenever I'm doing a quick uh, front end for a client. This is a very quick and easy, dirty way to do it without ejecting. So that also means that you can um, still run the really nice development server that you get. All right, and I already have Flask installed, and I'm assuming if you're watching this tutorial, you have Flask installed. So I'm just going to do app.py here. because it's from something else. So click running there. All right, now if we navigate to our local host, you can see where I've done other stuff here. 5,000, boom, hello world, I'm being served from Flask. Um, this also works for production deployments if you need that as well. So if you have any questions or uh, leave them down in the comments and I will get to them. I try to get to them within a day of posting. And if you think this thought this was helpful, please like and subscribe if you want more helpful content.